Now from here, I just follow the map south. And then we take a right at our first opportunity. And then we go south. Huh, <laughs> juked ya. And then we go east. And I'm not picking up any of this treasure, I know. I don't care about treasure. I'm already taking advantage of the cash cow cheat. What could I possibly need? Okay, go north. I mean, if there's some valuable equipment or something here, then yeah, I'll come back. But if there isn't, then I won't. I don't want to waste my time. <laughs> okay, and now we head south. And we're just going to follow this south. And then at the bottom there's going to be a turn to the west, and then there's the exit. I'm not even going to loot that body. Still going. There we go. Okay, and now the map opens up a little bit. We'll just follow this. There are two ladders, and then a bridge. And I'm going to completely ignore these chests. Wait, where am I going? Where's the bridge? I went the wrong way. <laughs> Sorry about that, everyone. Uh, I'm getting flashbacks to uh, Breath of Death and all those caves I had to spelunk. fun was a breath of death. <sighs> I wish I had nicer equipment back when I recorded that series, but, you know. Uh, is this where I'm supposed to go? Oh no, there's an opening. I see it. And then we go up through the ladder. And then we fight this bee. this bridge, we climb this ladder. Okay, we go around here. Wow, it didn't get me. And then we're gonna kinda zigzag our way up around here. Walkthroughs are the best, aren't they? You don't have to waste everyone's time. Take this bridge. There's another bridge. And then I go around, and up, and west, and west, and there's the exit. There! Oh, I guess this is the, uh, boss. Hi. Your death awaits! I can't do a good voice right now. <laughs> anyway, yeah, this is the third boss of the game. Uh, shortest dungeon ever, just very large last, uh, screen. Let's just... Uh, we'll keep using the Sword of Madness or whatever this is. Uh, we'll use Weevil. Um, we will use... That guy, and then we'll use Final Rise. At least she, you know, restores some HP when she bites people. Crossed a lot of bridges on the way over here. Wow, that sucked. Okay, Ren, you're kind of the, you know, hardest hitter right now, so. Uh, you use Weevil. Hopefully he gets sick. You go ahead and use this thing, because it's awesome and it will heal everyone. I don't know why I used Final Embrace, but whatever. <laughs> uh, Tejal, you're just useless. Maybe I'm using her wrong. That's probably exactly what it is. I'm just using her wrong. Ooh, critical. Oh, I don't know if you guys can hear that. Um, 
I'm running the Roomba in the house, but I've just closed the door to the office so it doesn't come in here. But it might bang on the door, so... You know, in case you hear that, that's what's going on. And I've got my dog in here, because... The other one isn't bothered by the Roomba, but this one is, so... Elini learns Tawrich. Or Tawrik. Armady's soul? Okay, where is Armady? Uh, let's see. Okay, what we need to do now is we need to return to Brumwich so that I can head back to, well, that area where Velgird lives, only at the entrance of that area? I don't know what to call it. Okay, cool. This is where we need to go because our matey is in here. Only merchants are allowed to use the peninsula trade route. Uh, wait. Am I the right place? Oh, oh, this... <laughs> no. I need to go back, and I need to go back to the boss room in order to get our matey. So, uh, hang on. <laughs> I thought the holes in the ground were purely decorative. I didn't realize that they were actually a path. So, uh, I'll see you guys when I get there. Okay. Okay, I'm here. Now, just in case... Any of these might take me to, like, I don't know, the beginning of the stage or something. Let's just save. Okay. What? Hang on. Uh, da da. Tarich, enter the holes, which will take you outside Blackboat Cave. Walk up to the. I completely misread that. I didn't have to do any of what I just did, though I did get some grinding done, so that's something. Ugh. So now I need to go back to. Walk up to the signpost in the Highland and then proceed north. So I need to go back to a shrine. I have no idea where the signpost is, so I'm just kind of following the road until I find one. Yay! Okay, there's the signpost. Does this say shrine? Well, temple. Okay. I'll climb up here. I'll follow the road. So many floating structures. Okay. Is this cave where I need to go? Maybe? I want to fight that thing real quick. It looks like a Pokemon. Oh, no, it's one of these things. Okay, now do I go up the ladder or across the bridge? Walk around the narrow river and cross the bridge. Okay, head to the left and up a ladder. Go up this other ladder, I assume. And then, bam! Temple! Okay, I'm pretty sure I can't open this yet. I. Oh, yeah, I can't open that yet. What does this say? Green Rock Temple. Let's just touch the soul. You've come! I was so worried for your brave deed. Please take the merchant card from my treasure chest. You will need it to travel to the peninsula where you must continue your quest. Oh. Hooray! We must get to the Sun Temple in Avion. Okay. Take! Okay, now let's take you to... Should we take you to Avion now? Okay, yeah. Well, the guide says to go to Avion. And then it talks about, you know, the trade place, but, you know. Thank you for bringing me to the Sun Temple. To show you my gratitude, you may have one gift from my treasury beneath the temple. What does your symbol look like? I already collected this one. Let's just go to the other side. Excuse me. We already collected this one. Oh, you're the onion. 
Okay, now let's see what the guide has to say about these treasures. Okay, we can choose the climbing guide or the cooking guide. The climbing guide will help you fetch the Cloak of Undying Loyalty, which allows you to steal the souls of monsters, which shows in the creature tab in the lower right of your game menu screen. Creature, okay. Thus increasing your party strength. The creatures will remain with you as long as Lars has the cloak equipped. If he changes his armor, the creature will disappear from your party. Interesting that that's called the climbing guide. The cooking guide allows you to find meat after killing monsters. If you select the climbing guide, go to your inventory and select it to learn the climbing skill. Let's just get the cooking guide. Never mind, we'll take the cooking kit. Thank you. 